Hello everybody, welcome back to GK Plays Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are back in Spain and we're going up to see the Countess. Let's see what this is all about. She seems happy to see us, I think. Senor Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please, sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Why? You've had it cleaned. Yeah, I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knight secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Ah, uh, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. Okay, let's ask some questions. There's still the mystery of the missing chess piece. I do not think that it will ever be discovered unless the fate of the children is revealed. The Inquisition were suspected of taking the chalice and the kids, right? We know now they were innocent of the first crime. What if... They did not take the children either. But where did they go? What happened to them? The Inquisition admitted to killing Don Carlos's manservant. Now, this guy had been told to protect the kids at all costs, right? That is correct. I think he hid them and the chalice when he got wind that the Inquisition was coming. With him dead and Don Carlos driven mad with grief, there was nobody left who knew the secret. You know what this means, don't you? I fear so. The children are still here somewhere. Oh, damn. If this is so, then it is small wonder that the De Vasconcellos are cursed. I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcellos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. Nice. Well, she can go far and pay her final respects now. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. Oh, yeah, the Bible what references. Are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32 7, Corinthians. I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible chapter and verse. Who I mean, does? What are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest. <laughs> Maybe we can find a Bible at some point. I'll have a look around, if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Okay. Let's go down and talk to Lopez. Because we're looking for where the children went, and that's um, a concerning fact in its own right. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Oh, you're such a nice guy. Uh, nothing Catch here. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stoba. Oh, maybe there's a Bible somewhere. Oh, the mausoleum. Let's go check the mausoleum. Mausoleum, summer house. Easy mistake to make. Can we go over there, though? It was the driveway down to the main road. I didn't want to leave just yet, though. Oh, no, definitely not. Ah, there we go. There's bound to be a Bible than here. Yeah, it's on the lectern. There we go. I dare say we'll be back here at some point. We're actually getting quite near the end of the game, actually. Um, 
believe it or not. I know Subaru 86% of the way through. We've still got a little bit of way to go, but uh, we are getting there, and the finale is fairly short, so uh, we are making our way through this mystery. Slowly but surely. Okay, let's read these quotations. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please, I'll be my guest. Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. Very well, let us begin. The first reference. Psalms 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding place. Mm. Don't get your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay. John 4, 11. John 4, 11. Here. The well is deep. A well? The next. Uh, quickly. Okay, okay. Uh... Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is. We'll bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns, what does it mean? I can't guess. There's a weird Valiant one. Valiant Point seems to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is the mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything pertaining to the estate. Back to Lopez it is them. look around if that's okay. My home is your home. Shall remain here. Sorry about that. I had to uh, go and see to something quickly. Let's get rid of that. And let's carry on. Let's talk to Lopez. It's difficult because I have to record this on a, on a mobile device. So obviously I have to be careful of uh, notifications and things. I have to make sure everything's switched on. Or off even. <clears throat> Hi, Lopez. Got him. Anthony. Okay, let's talk to you about a well. Know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Concellos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? Si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great. So where is it? How should I know? The yeah. well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. You must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard. So that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Any ideas yet? Not as yet, Senor Stobart. I shall give it more thought. Hmm. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stobar. Okay. Let's start talking to him again. Maybe that's Hi, enough. Lopez. Any ideas yet? Not as yet. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stobar. Okay. I want to go back to the mausoleum, because there's actually a, a little puzzle here we can solve, I think. So, there is... Uh, we need to burn the candle, basically. And uh, this is another one of those puzzles that we may not learn about until now later. What? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot. High up in the dome were windows. I guess they might open them <clears> to make it less stuffy in there. I couldn't climb up there. So that's why you use... Now what? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot, I put it down again. Okay. Something to snuff, right? Uh, 
There we go. Okay, so the... Yeah, so uh, maybe now we can do something with the window. Yeah, this is one of those puzzles that... High up in the dome, we're, yeah, I guess they... I am aware of that. There we go. Right, let's try that again, shall we? It takes a while to figure out, but again, I've got the advantage of playing this game a few times before. In fact, I've played this game many times before. I love this game so much, if it isn't already clear. Oh. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but only for a couple of minutes. Some kind of special formulation, I guess. And had yielded up this. A complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Hmm. So I think you need to do that to basically activate the next bit, if you like. But we are going to need that. Hi, Lope. Anthony. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water. Ah, there we go. Yes. For generations. The Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, <laughs> let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick, eh? Why? Of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. I'm assuming he means these. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. Oh, George, there must be. There wasn't a single... Hmm, maybe there's some more over here, perhaps. Yeah, it looks like hazel. Let's see if there's anything on there. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! Ah, there we go. Okay, let's go show Lopez and hopefully he'll... To gratify us in a suitable way. Hi, Lopez. Certainly. Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrist so that the slightest movement of the wand's tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. <laughs> yeah, give him about six weeks. <laughs> I'm sure Lopez has said this just so he can get some company. By the way, th th this is pre-done. I'm not controlling George at this point. Uh, Lopez is taking a minute. How about you get a wire hazel and, you know, find the water with me? Senior Stobart, you've... 
You found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. <laughs> I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left. I think that's a pretty safe in bet. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. Ooh. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. I'm surprised you didn't. You've been here for how long? Yeah, let's get the old man to lower a, uh, you know, 15 stone probably man. The well had been lost for <laughs> decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. Ooh. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Yeah, no kidding. What's this? I'm sure the um, Bible says something about the lion's mouth, didn't it? From a it? distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey! One of the fangs is a separate piece. Let's play with it a little bit. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior <laughs> stop Senor Stobar, are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine. Hey, Susto Miras Dada, you gave me a scare. Nice try, Templars. Okay, so what's all this about then? I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It was too dark to see and I had to rely on touch. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. It can't be. We must have some way of... Hi, Lopez. Got him? Certainly, senor. It's really dark down there. Do you have a flashlight or something? No. I broke my torch only last month. Damn. It's so bright up here, but the light's just not getting into the corners. See? The light, it goes in straight lines. Catch you later, Lopez. Hmm. Adios, Senor Stoba. Let's check in the house. There's one place we actually haven't been in the house, and that's Lopez's workroom. Okay, we can look at the hu Ooh, what's that? It was a small mirror hanging over a the A mirror. Seat. That's that was it. I remember now. I actually forgot about that. Mirror reflects lies, of course. I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. Hmm. There. In the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. Oh, I wonder what would fit in that. I slid the stone key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials. Oh, wow, okay. Um... Okay. So what's all this about then?
Um, the Roman numerals. I wonder if we have to. If we've got anything in a notebook. We really haven't been reading this, have we? Oh, 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 oh. It, this is it. Yeah, that's that's them. Oh, shame I can't like copy it in any way. Um, okay. So it's uh, fourteen, twenty, and twenty-seven. I wonder if we have to do it all in one. Now I knew what I was looking Now I Oh. I slid the stone. There were buttons that turned the dot. Okay. Let's do 14 first. I heard the sounds of the lock moving. Okay. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head. Uh, next one's 27. And then there was a couple that were um, single digits, if memory serves. There's definitely a three in there. I must have made him. The lock spun back to neutral and nearly took my fingers off. I was going to have to start. Okay, so what about if I... I wonder what happens if I come out of it after putting one in. Does it spin back to neutral again? Because that's a lot of numbers to remember. Just experimenting. Cause that's a, I may have to write them down. There were buttons that turned the dot. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to write these down because there's far too many. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to go back to my notes. Okay. So let me grab some paper. Class takes me back to my days playing Mist when you had to make actual notes. <laughs> okay, so we've got 14, 27, 5, uh, 6, I uh, don't know what that is, I, don't, I can't remember what L is in. Uh, One, two, three, one, seventeen. Uh, twelve and twenty-five. That is a lot to remember. I slid this. There were buttons that turned the dials. Okay, you have to bear with me, guys. This might take a few secs. So, let's do... F uh... Right, that's 14. And then we've got 27. And then we've got uh, 6... Then we got uh, L31. That might be 81. Yeah, 
Okay. We're on the right track. That's that, that's for damn sure. Three. And then one. And then uh, 17. Yeah, this is all the references from the uh, the tomb, if you remember. The ones that are around the outside of the tomb. You know which ones I'm talking about, right? 17. And then 12. I might as well just take it all the way around. That's 12. And the last one's 25. Hopefully, we won't get a stone boulder on our head. Oh, yes! There you go. points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stilwart finger work wouldn't let me down. Beg pardon? What are we going to find? Oh, no. This is where they were hidden. Oh, look at that, big chessboard. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. That is so sad. They were there all that time. George, oh. welcome back. Come in, George. It's good to see you again. Is it? Oh, God. Jealous streak, George. It doesn't suit you. Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. The clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, André? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell André what else you found, Georges. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Georges found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image <laughs> of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Oh, Cat George. Knight reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. Well, uh, the Latin phrase <sighs> are the words of Julius Caesar. Such a child. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place inhabited by blue painted savages. It's not it changed, hasn't uh, changed much. You beat me to it, Nico. Well, they stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking the English about? English Civil War. I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh, you can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? André, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, Andre? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. 
And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of, uh, well, can't you guess? Nuts Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. Great. They are said Mercenary to have the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. Oh. I can't go. Andre, you've been loads of hell, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I was? We understand you've got commitments. Oh, listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and uh, don't worry about us. Oh, dear. Are we actually going together this time? Oh, we are as well. Right, we're obviously on a train. I'm guessing we're in England somewhere or on the way to Scotland. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here, guys. But the next one is going to probably be the last one. Uh, I said we were more or less through with this game and uh, I wasn't fibbing. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like and a comment. And as always, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you have, please share the video. I really do appreciate that. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.